Hey guys, how's life going on there? It's Ferdinand Dandy once again, and welcome to the Victoria Peak in Hong Kong. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to program the Intel 8051 core, the microcontroller that is used in the DR100 Watt concept project. I will show you the tools, the IDE, the integrated development environment, as well as the programming language that I and my friends use in programming the DR100 Watt concept project. Let's take it from the top. I already finished this video in my travel in Lijiang, that is the, the Lijiang city, the city that is on top of the mountain in Yunnan province. I go there and have a visit and at the same time I make the video for programming the DR100 Watt concept project, specifically the Intel 8051 core microcontroller. But what happened is that um, after finish all the video, my phone was damaged. It was heavily damaged that I cannot recover over the data anymore. So I have to repeat it. Let me show to you what I have done before. This is the start. I want to finish the introductory part about the Intel A51 core microcontroller while I'm having my coffee at the McDonald's but uh, it's a little bit noisy that uh, you know it will override my voice uh, so I'm going to do it here at the comfort of my working room here it is uh. this is an example of a microcontroller our subject matter the package is DIP or join line package uh. this is a 40 pins microcontroller 40 pins because there are 40 total pins in one package. Probably you heard about 8051 core or the Intel 8051 microcontroller before, 80 Mega 328P or the AVR microcontroller, PIC 16F from Microchip, Arduino. These are all kinds of microcontroller with a different packaging and different hardware peripherals from a different manufacturers. Microcontroller like this will go into simplify the circuit design by bulking the logic into software programming rather than doing it in hardware like um, JK flip flop uh, and it will be costless if you're going to make use of a microcontroller. As the name implies, uh, microcontroller it is a micro that is uh, being used for controller or sometimes they call it the microcontroller is used for embedded system. Let's compare a personal computer versus a microcontroller. We use our personal computer to solve the internet, do our job like uh, Word, Excel, uh, doing a PCB design maybe, or circuit simulators. Um, uh, we want to uh, draw something uh, like uh, AutoCAD uh, or posting our product in an online store, maybe you're doing e-commerce uh, or also playing DVDs, uh, play games, uh, which all of this uh, requires a high power processing. While a microcontroller is dedicated for embedded or for smaller product that don't require so much high power processing, like for example, um, a TV remote control, uh, like um, what's this one is uh, uh, multimeters uh, and uh, printers. Uh, those are products that uh, don't require so much uh, high power processing. And so as our project uh, DR100 Watt concept project, uh, it do not require high power processing as a computer. We just need enough to control the LCD. Uh, the switches um, uh, can do the MON machine interface. Uh, we don't need so much about high power processing. Enough to control the different uh, modular boards. Uh, that is why we make use of the microcontroller instead of a personal computer. Because, you know, personal computer is too big and too expensive compared to a single chip like this uh, microcontroller. Hey, by the way, uh, why they call it the uh, Intel 8051 core or just simply 8051 core? Let's see my board to explain about this 8051 core. The core. The Intel 8051 
as its name implies, is developed and first manufactured by Intel, Intel Corporation. It is basically based on the Harvard architectures of 8-bit microcontroller unit, or MCU. Aside from Intel corporations, there are other manufacturers who use the 8051 and use it in their product, like for example, Dallas, Philips, Atmel, Siemens, or Infineon, Mental Graphics, Texas Instrument, or popularly called TI, Silicon Labs, Megawin, STC, and there are many, many more manufacturers who make use of the 8051 in their own products. And that is why the Intel 8051 core were later called 8051 core when it is being used by other manufacturers into their product. Let's understand the 8051 core as compared to a burger. Yes, that sandwich that is available from different outlets like McDonald's, KFC, Quick, Subway, Jollibee, or King Burgers, and many more outlets. They offer a burger, which the main component is a meat, and out of that burger, they can come up with a cheeseburger, maybe a fish burger, hamburger, egg burgers, and other burgers with their own brands and different stuffing. Like the hamburger, which is the main component, is a meat, and the 8051 core main component is the 8-bit Harvard architecture composed of CPU, RAM, ROM, I.O., and ALU, which is offered by different semiconductor manufacturers like Intel, NXP, DI Siemens, STC, and many more semiconductors uh, manufacturers. They come up with the different types of product that comes with uh, PWM or parts with modulations, AD or analog to digital converters, UART, SPI, sometimes comes with a DSP, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and others. So that is the comparison of the 8051 core as compared to a burger core. With hundreds of derivatives from different manufacturers and comes with a different package and also comes with a different peripherals, no wonder that the Intel 8051 core is the most popular microcontroller in the world. And that is why we choose the Intel 8051 core to drive our product, the R101 car. Let's start by considering that I'm a zero experience in programming the Intel 8051 core. I am basically a starter. I don't have hardware, I don't have ID, I don't have anything, I don't have even data shit. So, I'm going to start from the bottom. Let us start with the programming language. Basically, the Intel 8051 core microcontroller, you can program it making use of the assembly language, basic language, C language, Pascal, and there is also a form of programming which is called the graphical programming. Any one of these um, languages, uh, you can use it. So in my case, uh, I'm going to make use of basic programming. I'm going to make use of Bascom 8051. The Bascom 8051 uh, support the uh, basic um, instruction, uh, which is uh, developed in Holland by Mark Alberts. Uh, see his website. The good thing about Bascom 8051 is that uh, you can uh, make use of the trial version which is limited to 4K bytes. Uh, that is uh, really good enough for starters. Uh, it uh, lets you uh, try the um, programming style, the art of programming. And what is very good for this is that uh, it comes with an onboard simulator that uh, even you don't have the actual hardware, you can try to simulate your program. Well, uh, once you feel that uh, uh, Bascom 8051 is uh, really good for you, then uh, you can avail it the 4 version which uh, don't come with the limitation. Okay, let's start it. Um, you may visit uh, Mark Albert's uh, website and um, uh, download the uh, demo version for you to try it. Eh?
people finally successfully installed the Bascom LED51 demo and uh, here you go I open it up now and this is how it looks like in the first time uh, you open the um, Bascom LED51 this is uh, basically the editor window and uh, nothing is in there let me just uh, write something like uh, uh, what it is the P 3.6 uh, is equal to uh, 0 and uh, I'm going to write the end command okay so basically this is the uh, uh, instruction uh, never mind if you don't uh, understand about the P 3.6 is equal to 0 right now this is basically an instruction to um, set the uh, port uh, 3.6 to 0 I will discuss this later and uh, the end is um, an end command uh, or instruction that will tell the um, uh, Bascom 8051 that it is the end of the program so basically this is a complete program so this is the editor window I'm saying and um, um, to generate the hex code or the bin code we need to compile it by uh, pressing this um, icon in here and uh, compile program F7 or just click it and you get a compilation over there uh, let's do that again uh, let, okay um, okay that's the compilation so after compiling uh, if you go back to your directory where uh, your program uh, it's a save you can see this is a blank uh, because the, we did not uh, put any name on it and we get this is the compiled bin and this is the compiled hex so the bin or the hex is the one that we're going to download into the um, ROM of the microcontroller so for now we just uh, take um, these uh, files and later we are going to expand our understanding about these files I just want you to know that um, whenever uh, we do the uh, compilation for this uh, when we hit this bottom here and it will generate um, a bin code, hex code and other files let's just uh, erase this uh, for the sake of uh, understanding okay and we just get the uh, um, blank uh, uh, bus file and uh, we try to nothing is in there and I'm going to click the compile or press F7 and you go there there you are it will generate the bin and uh, the bugs and hex the other window of the Bascom 8051 is the simulator window you can invoke it by uh, pressing the uh, this uh, red uh, icon in here or press uh, F2 let's do that and here is the simulator window you can select um, a hardware emulation uh, which is uh, this one it composed of the uh, this is an LCD and this is a uh, seven segment uh, LED and these are LEDs and arrays of LEDs uh. so um, I will not say that uh, these are an arrays of LCD but it looks uh, LEDs basically but uh, in fact it is not uh, this uh, denote the uh, port of the microcontrollers, the Intel 8051 40 pins with 32 input output. Uh, so we can uh, treat this as an LED or uh, better to understand it as uh, equivalent to the input output of the Intel 8051 core 32 IO. To expand further our understanding about this uh, 32 input output, uh, the microcontroller Intel 8051 comes with the port ports. We got P0, this is port 0, port 1, port 2, and port 3. Port 0 is an 8 bit, it composed of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is basically an 8 bit. P1 is also an 8 bit, P2 is also an 8 bit, and P3 is also an 8 bit. So we got Port fourth uh, multiplied by uh, 8 bits its total is a uh, 32 input output uh. so what this means uh, in relation to our program so we say that uh, we get the uh, port 3 we say port 3 bit 6 uh, 
we are talking about this one port 3 and bit 6 is here so when we say port 3 bit 6 we are talking about this one this input output here what it means by the program is that uh, we are saying that um, p3 bit 6 is equal to 0 what we want to by that is that uh, we want to set the input output p3.6 into logic 0 let's simulate the program by executing the instruction in here there are two ways we can do to run the program by just uh, press the play icon here or the uh, step into code for this time I'm going to make use of this step into code by clicking this while pay attention to port 3 bit 6 this one in here this one I click it now click it once click it twice and then you can see that the program tracer this program tracer is now on the p3.6 is equal to 0 instruction click it once again and there you are you can see that the port 3 bit 6 changes its status it now changed to logic 0 click once again and it goes into the end so that's the end of the program so that's how simple how you simulate your program by instructing uh, the microcontroller port 3 bit 6 to logic 0 and there you are it was in executed correctly let's make our program clearer by looking at this schematic diagram this is the uh, microcontroller it is um, 40 pins then, and uh, I interface an LED in here again uh, I make use of the LED because uh, the LED is uh, easy to interface and you can see the result when the LED is lighted or the LED is not lighted. Let's uh, see the uh, real configuration. We got a P3.6 in here. That means to say that uh, this uh, port 3 bit 6 is controlling this LED. And um, initially, the Intel 8051 core microcontroller, the initial state of P3.6 is logic 1, as in here. We can say that, uh, or imagine that uh, there is a switch inside the microcontroller that initially, when there is no program commanding the microcontroller, the initial state of P3.6 is logic 1, which is uh, basically connected to plus 5 volts. As supplied by the battery at this state when there is no program and then the cathode of the LED that is connected to port 3 bit 6 is at logic 1 the LED is not lighted well the rule of the LED is that uh, the anode must be more positive than its cathode in this case uh, the anode is connected to plus 5 volt of the battery and at the same time the cathode is connected into the um, plus 5 volt bar the internal switch uh, as you can see in here in order for the LED to be lighted uh, then you need to instruct the microcontroller to go logic low how is that? let's see this schematic diagram where I instructed the microcontroller to perform P3.6 is equal to 0 that means to say that this port 3 bit 6 is now connected to logic 0 in that case the LED will light up because the cathode is now connected to the GND let's see the timing diagram initially when there is no program P3.6 is at logic 1. After executing the instruction P3.6 is equal to 0, then P3.6 is now at logic 0. This is the equivalent circuit.
Hey guys, it's Ferdinand Dandy once again from the Victoria Peak in Hong Kong saying thank you for watching this video and if you like this video, thanks for subscribing. You may like to see my other videos in electronics, in DIY travel, in DIY cookings and other videos that I made. I hope you like them and you enjoy watching with them. Don't forget to subscribe and the thumbs up button. Bye for now and see you in the next video. So to go